lot about an agreement in 1998. I've heard a lot about an agreement in 2015. I do know that in both cases, both agreements are very different from the one we have in 2018. Indeed, the memorandum which accompanied the agreement in 2018 actually indicates that the existing agreement has since elapsed, that its termination is up, that it has expired and is no longer relevant or effective. It is void ab initio, which has actually occasioned a new agreement being brought for consideration and ratification by Parliament. So it is very, very simple that those ones are no longer in contention, they are no longer subject matters for discussion, and that the new agreement, which is the 2018 agreement, also contains clauses that were not necessarily in the previous agreement. And I'm sure we've all heard enough about that one, that there's no, termi there's no termination in this one. It means that this is an agreement that will be operating in perpetuity. There is also a provision which allows them to come here with their own ID cards from their countries and be able to operate as if they live there with us. It is something we are not happy with. We expect that every such agreement will reflect the aspirations of the good people of Ghana. Our position today is very simple. We expect our president, His Excellency Nana Adedanko Akufuado, to put Ghana first like Trump is doing. I think that in recent times we've heard very unpalatable comments about African countries. At this time, we must also take a better position, argue better for Africa, negotiate better for Africa, mediate better for Africa, sign on only to documents that prosper and support Africa in all our aspirations. I think that in future we should do better, that in future the concerns of the minority, the concerns of citizens, and I have heard some key citizens who have spoken largely against and in opposition to this particular agreement. So I do know that something could have been done, but of course government was defiant and refused to listen to the voice of the voiceless. Today we are here to say that as citizens we have rights to, and our rights are enshrined in our 1992 constitution. We want the sovereignty of Ghana to be preserved. We do not want any state that waives its sovereignty for another sovereign country, and that is why we are here today.